Hey folks, this is Daryl Cagle. I'm doing my next uh, syndicated newspaper cartoon today. It goes to 850 papers. It shall be Debbie Wasserman Schultz getting the boot. And uh, let's get going. Sorry for the mess and delays, but uh, such is the nature of being a cartoonist. And also, sorry for the air conditioner in the background. It's been hot. Okay, I'm looking at uh, photos on the screen here of um, here I've got Bernie and Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Putin in my uh, Google images. I'm going to start with Putin. And thank you folks for joining me. So this is uh, this is my sketch. They're both kicking. Debbie Wasserman Schultz going off, getting kicked. So here's Putin. Putin and uh, Bernie are both kind of tall. Putin has to have no shirt. some uh, khaki military pants, I guess. Which need to be a little baggier. And here's Bernie. Probably have the other leg out because that'll be a little bit easier to distinguish. Bernie's kicking. Uh oh, now I'm out of focus, huh? Come on, camera, get with it. My problem is I don't have control of the overhead cam focus now. It either does what it wants or it doesn't. So if I can't get it back in focus, I'm lost. Well, I think it kind of did it there. Let's see if it sticks. Bernie's head has to come down in front. for letting me know that, folks. Yeah, my app stopped working because uh, the Apple iTunes store no longer recognizes my password. And the Apple people tell me, yes, this is a known bug. There is no solution to this problem. You just can't use the App Store unless you uh, install an entirely new system on your uh, computer and move all the files over because there is no fix for this other than starting completely over. I cannot say that Apple is very uh, helpful or interested in solving their bugs. Maybe it's a good time for me to switch to PC. That would make podcasting easier. of those guys. I'm going to start over. Let's have one guy here. I think there maybe the problem was that they were too big and too normally proportioned. Here and that leg needs to be shorter there.
thinking that it's better. Maybe I want their arms to go down and just be in a silly nonsense position as they kick. Decide in just a second. camera controls because my apps don't work because they all ask for me to verify them in the Apple iTunes store which no longer accepts passwords. I need to spend a few days probably transferring all the files to my friggin new uh, clean system. Apple has no fix for this problem. Stars are the universal cartoon symbol for, ouch, that hurts. So Debbie Wasserman Schultz will be up here. Probably going to give her a little more distance in this when I do uh, the final line art. Let me switch to her on the screen. One thing that's tough about uh, Google Images is that they're not good at giving you um, bodies. There goes the air conditioner.
she has a kind of a normal little bit heavy in the butt figure. I think I'm going to make her a little smaller too. She's a very distinctive face that I have never drawn before. Bunch of funky hair. Buggy eyes, very buggy. Oh, I think I'm kind of getting her. She's, she's, she is actually a little crazy looking. I need to decide if I'm going to be really brave and not put a, a name label on her. Because I don't think people are going to recognize the caricature. Folks, don't be quiet. I know you're out there. She has some pretty heavy eye makeup too that tends to make her wall-eyed, far apart eyes look even more wall-eyed and far, far apart. And she's got a good uh, snuff box, which is this right here. Move my camera down a little bit. Is that better? A little bit more. A little bit further in. There we go. That's a little better. I think I've got a pretty good caricature of her. She makes me laugh. Okay. Let's make fun of her uh, big hips for a minute. What she got? She does. Uh, she does wear a necklace sometimes. Give her a necklace. Cartoon Man, you think it looks just like her? Thank you. I think she's a... Uh, she's a funny caricature. It's kind of a shame that I haven't drawn her before. She wears longer skirts, doesn't she? Okay, leg one. Leg two down here pretty safely. Leg two is a closer leg, isn't it? I need a knee there and a knee there, and this leg needs to be here, and this leg needs to be here. Fix those. Here. Here, knees, butt,
think I'm going to move her up over around that area. Cartoon Man writes, did Hillary really rehire her, or is that a rumor? Um, I don't know. Things are happening pretty fast. Maybe I'm not caught up on stuff, but uh, I don't think Hillary's going to rehire her to the chairman job. Because uh, she's appointed by um, President Obama. Hillary's not president. Okay, let's go to Putin. Not sure I like her legs. Maybe they need to go up like that. Is that better? That leg and then that leg. Sort that out when I do the finish. Okay. Working on this half an hour already, mostly fixing my junk um, live casting session junk. Okay, Putin. I may want his arms to be out like Wasserman Schultz's arms. Go back in that direction. That will finish too. Getting everybody too big here. You got bad buffering today? It's looking good for me. I think that's not a Twitch problem today. I think that's um, your uh, local connection, Okomi. Because my Twitch is uh, coming through just fine today. I know it's tempting to blend, it, uh, to uh, blame everything on Twitch, but today I think you blame it on your service provider. Hey, cartoon man. I don't even know what the pop-out window is, but I'm glad to see that it's working. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm pleased with my Debbie Washington Schultz. Okay. Putin has this bullet-shaped head. And he's got these funky eyebrows that go like this. He does have a kind of a sinister look to him, doesn't he? his eyes at half mast. He does not have bags under the eyes much, but he's got a lot of upper eyelid going on. 
and his nose is too long. He is Bond villain esque cartoon man. See what I can do with this. He'll have the tiniest little bit of hair on top. Some cartoonists give him a kind of a Charlie Brown haircut. Wakomi, she actually spoke in the delegate breakfast today. She did. She got booed. I think she's not going to speak at the convention. I can clean him up a little bit when I do the finish. He's not looking that good. Let's try Bernie. Okay, Bernie. Tibby's going to have this foot here. There to there. Maybe she needs the other leg in the same kind of deal. So, there. That's better. Okay, poop and shoe. See, I'm hopping between thing to thing because I haven't started burning yet. Let's see what we can do with Bernie. Bernie! Oh, Comey writes, that's not Putin, right? <laughs> Wrong, that is Putin. Okay. Bernie needs... I think I do have one of my Bernie cartoons here. See if I've got that. If I can bring that up. Well, here I have it. That is a Bernie that I drew some time ago when he looked like he was doing better in the race against Hillary. Um, and I was kind of pleased with that Bernie face, and that's kind of falling in the same direction as what I want to do here. Um, uh, Bokomi writes, you could add two arms that catch her on the right side with Hillary's icon. No, I think I'm going to let her fly off into the abyss. These things can get too complicated. So let's go back to tabletop. Bernie. Bernie's head goes there. You want to, because Bernie's an old guy, you want to draw him wider than he actually is, but uh, he's actually not that wide.
suppose is too long. could just grab an old Bernie head and stick it on here. I'm thinking I might do that. So I'm not too happy with my Bernie and I'm not sure I want to spend the time trying to get him right. My nose here. You know, I think I will do that. I'm just going to grab my old Bernie head and stick it on here. Because uh, the old Bernie head pleased me. And uh, I can do that. So let's uh, open that up. Oh, you want to see the screen? Let's do that. Okay, so this is what I'm working on. I'm going to take Bernie's head here, grab it, because I liked this one. How big does that need to be? It needs to be about two inches tall. So let's make it. Right, two inches tall. Okay, print it and see what happens. Then I don't have to draw this thing and make sure I get it right because I am pleased with this oldie. Now, let's see if that prints. Print damn you. Come on, print, print. Is it going to print? Everything's going wrong today. Slow and going wrong. No, it's not print. Oh, there it goes. My slow printer. It complains that its ink is low. That is much too small. It needs to be 3.25 inches tall. So, image size, height, 3.5, print. out. Putin's head can be a little wider. Yeah, that helped. That's Bernie's head. Come on, print, print! Wait, wait, print, print, print. I guess you don't need the screen anymore. Come on. Five looks a little bit large, doesn't it? Let's see if we can bring it down a little. This is what we used to do for scissors in the old days. I do hear about how I'm probably the oldest character on Twitch. So 
is that good? If I make Putin a little bit bigger, that's good. I think I can go with that. Putin will end up being a little bit bigger. Drop his head down to there. That looks good. Alright. He can have a hand come up here if he wants. See if, how much that interferes with his shoe. We'll move his shoe up a little bit. Swing and a swing. That one's got to go. She's going over here. She'll have a little bit of a shadow under her. She could have a little poof. A little farty poof. Will I be drawing about how Sanders got booed by his own delegates today, Okomi writes. No, he was booed for uh, urging them to vote for Clinton. It wasn't a boo against Bernie, it was a boo against Clinton. Not worthy of a cartoon, but they're talking about Debbie Wasserman Schultz on TV all the time, so that's, that's the cartoon for today. That's the rule of thumb for editorial cartoonists. You want to draw what the talking heads are talking about on TV that day, because that's what the editors want to print. And as Fox News has taught us, you can only keep two or three stories in your head at the same time. So... Okay, I think I've got this worked out. Bernie swings that way. I'm going to start with Debbie Wasserman Schultz, bring her up that way. Draw from right to left because I'm left handed. And I think that works. Grab some paper. So she's going to be up here. That looks right. Oh boy, out of tape. Let's see how disorganized I am. Continuing saga of moving as hell. All right, her hair is going to be uh, interesting to draw, to think about that. I haven't quite thought about how to draw her hair. But her hair is interesting. Bring her back up. I think I'll just start with her eyeballs, although her legs are the things I really have to work out. Maybe I should start with the. Alright, let's start with her legs. Because the legs are the, the issue, and if I get something wrong, it's going to be the legs. shoe. Let's give her another one. that looking. Does she need darker shoes? She might. Well, he 
think that's looking kind of funny. Not too displeased with that. Let's see how it goes. Helicopter gunship. Nice to see you here again. You wish I had gotten in his prominent dowager's hump, which would be right here. Let's see if I can emphasize that. That's a good point. I can back up like that, and then his chest would be here. It's funny, I, I usually don't go back and grab old caricatures to work from, like I did with Bernie here just now. But, uh, you know, if it's going to take you some time and you got something else you were happy with, what the heck? Just, you know, use what you got. So, uh, I have noticed that other cartoonists really rely on their oldies. And they will... Uh, you'll see the same faces cut and pasted into uh, lots of cartoons if you look up a particular uh, character on politicalcartoons.com. I also noticed that uh, some cartoonists who are good at caricatures have their caricatures lifted by cartoonists looking for their solutions. So, you may see things that look remarkably similar to uh, Tom Richmond drawings. Because the cartoonist was looking at Tom Richmond drawings as he did his thing. That is a uh, very backhanded compliment, I suppose. I notice that when my stuff is stolen, traced by other cartoonists on the web, that uh, if I call them up and complain about it, well, email them and complain about it, the response is very often, Oh, I'm such a fan! I love the way you drew that. Hope you don't mind! Helicopter Gunship says, how did you learn to shade? Well, whenever you draw, you want to think of your light source. Light source I always have as a default. I think of it as upper left shining down this way. And um, lots of cartoonists, when they do their line art, their beginning cartoonists, they don't think about light source because they're thinking about outlines but you know the way you draw lines is very much influenced by where the light source is even if it's just some thicker lines on the shady side And where you should learn that is in college in figure drawing class. I tell you, if I was doing a figure drawing class, and maybe I will one of these days, I've, I've done some classes before, it's been a while, I might do a little query to see if people are interested in my doing that. Um, but anyway. I was doing a figure drawing class, considering what I have to draw all the time, I would do a figure drawing class of 
people wearing business suits. And actually, in my whole career, I've drawn a heck of a lot more people in business suits than I have naked people. Like you learned how to draw in figure drawing class. And you get all these kids that come out of art school and they draw wonderful boobs because that's the most fun thing to draw in figure drawing class. But uh, they can't draw business suits and wrinkles in cloth worth a damn. I think she's looking okay. I think the legs are fine. They look a little bit less uh, organized than both pointing in the same direction. Let's do her funny face. something under the paper it's giving me trouble so helicopter rides house response to the pick of the cop and the black kid with targets on their back I didn't get much response to that hardly anything at all and I'm not surprised because that's not the kind of cartoon that gets response and frankly neither is this one um, cartoons that get response are cartoons about gun control and abortion and the Confederate battle flag. Maybe things that involve religion. And Mike Goes Boom writes, Aha! These tunes are friggin' awesome. Thank you. Except there's a question mark there. Perhaps they're awesome or perhaps they're not. I like the idea of making her wall-eyed. Give her more of that eye makeup. She's got a little bit of a uncomfortably um, Positioned features. I am being a little cruel here because she's really not that bad looking objectively. Perhaps I should put a little disclaimer on the cartoon. Helicopter Gunship writes, Are you drawing Debbie Wasserman Schultz? Yes, I am. That's the idea of this cartoon, Helicopter Gunship. As you see in the title, Debbie Wasserman Schultz gets the boot. Funny teeth. Helicopter gunship rides. She's so sexy, not gonna lie. <laughs> I think she's bad looking. She's just, uh, she's just funny.
So you guys are asking me who he who she is. Do you think I've got her uh, well enough to not put a labor on label on her? That's the measure of a caricature. Let's fix her dress. Helicopter gunship, try to watch the racist comments. Okay, whoops. She has some interesting changes in her hair from day to day that I notice here in the Google Images. Sometimes it looks kind of uh, wet like she just got out of the shower. Robert Plant hair, is that what this is? The curls are kind of interesting in the respect that they don't seem to relate much to each other. Mike goes, boom, can any artist submit a tune to your site if it's within the realm of professional and clever? Well, you'll note that I have stuff on my site that says um, we don't accept submissions. And that's because um, we tend not to see many... Uh, good submissions and sometimes we see some cartoonists who are very motivated to submit and submit and submit and not take no for an answer and who sometimes become rather unpleasant. With that said, if you're polite, we'll take a look. Send your cartoon to editor at kegel.com. That said, we don't print individual submissions, what we do is we accept a cartoonist to be on the site and then we print all of their cartoons. And we rarely, rarely, rarely edit. 
Once in a while, I have taken down an anti-Semitic cartoon from a Middle Eastern cartoonist, but by and large, we do not edit. So what we do is we set up these slots for the cartoonists where their car cartoons are um, updated on Kegel.com. And we actually don't have a place in the system to put someone who is uh, uh, what should I say? Who is not contributing regularly. In fact, if uh, any of the guys on the site don't submit a cartoon in the last 30 days, their archive disappears from the site so that the site looks fresh and we don't have all these uh, cartoonists who would seem to exist, but in fact, you look in their last cartoon was years ago, as you see on our competitors' sites. I don't want that. So, Helicopter Gunships writes, how, how did we join your syndicate? Well, that's a little hard, too because uh, the syndicate works as a package and everybody's cartoon goes out to the same 850 papers. And if we add a cartoonist, typically we are not adding more income to pay for that cartoonist. The pie does not get bigger when you add content to the pie. So I would look for a cartoonist to bring some income to us. Perhaps the cartoonist already has a list of papers for his cartoons or is coming from another syndicate with a list of papers so we can uh, justify the cost of the cartoonist by adding some more income that way. If a cartoonist comes to us with no clients and has not been contributing to Kegel.com such that we have a database of cartoons for him. Frankly, his cartoons are not going to generate enough income for us to uh, have interest because the archive will not generate sales and, uh, since there's so little of an archive. And um, the pie hasn't gotten bigger because they haven't brought us any papers, then there's very little reason for us to add that cartoonist. And I realize that that is uh, frustrating because there's not much way to deal with that as a new person. Uh, we have taken on new people before when we thought that their work was unusually compelling and didn't conflict with any other cartoonists on the site, but uh, that is difficult these days as times are tough. So we'll take a look, but uh, you know what we're looking for, and that makes it tough for new people. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta turn on the air conditioner again. Hey, Mike goes boom. Thank you so much for uh, following. My apologies. Better to have the noise than to have a sweaty cartoonist. Okay, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, I think, is looking kind of good. I think I'm pleased with her. I think perhaps her uh, sketch looked a little bit more like her than the finish, but I think they're both kind of okay. Let's put these guys down here. They've given her the boot in this direction. Bring Bernie back up on the screen here. Bernie. <coughs> Bernie has one gimpy eye. 
in one open eye. Give him a little bit of an open eye there. That's his open eye, not his gimpy eye. So what we do sometimes with new artists is we treat uh, our online store kind of like a, a farm club and we'll, uh, we'll put them in there and see how their cartoons perform in terms of uh, pay-per-use sales. Then if they're uh, generating some income in pay-per-use, we'll uh, look at adding them to the group. We did that recently with a cartoonist named uh, Dave Granlund that you can see on Kegel.com. He performed very well in paper use. So we invited him to join the syndicate package. Does that look enough like Bernie? His gimpy eye is kind of giving me trouble. I think his glasses kind of suck to him. Do the eyes over. Maybe he should just be entirely squinty. He needs more jowl and more chin. He actually has a pretty generous chin. Let's see if I can fix those things.
think I've kind of got a burning going here. I think I like him. I'm gonna have to come back to him to decide if I really like him. Alright, Putin. Bring up my Putin page. And in case you're wondering, this is what I'm looking at on my screen now as I look at Putin. Again, my apologies for the air conditioner. His left or right eye oh, looks right. <coughs> Let's see what I can do with his nose. I often find that I like the Putins that other cartoonists do better than my own. Sorry if my answer scared you away, helicopter gunship. It is uh, very difficult to get into editorial cartooning, and I apologize for that. Well, I don't like that Putin. I may just start him over. But Bernie isn't looking at Dibby. Yeah, I'm going to start Putin over. Most cartoonists, most international cartoonists go pretty darn cartoony on Putin. And I may just be trying to draw him too much looking like himself. That 
Let's give them another try. Let's start with a couple of EDIs. I think that kind of looks like him. He is a Bond villain kind of guy. Hey, now you told her. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Okay, let's get a year there. What goes on under his neck? You notice most of the Putin photos are looking down from above, which is what you do to make an old person look younger. Yeah, I think I'm good with that Putin. Sure, I'm happy with Bernie's eyes. I think I'm gonna need to go a little crazier. Bring back my Bernie page. I'm gonna give him the open wild eye. Die. How wild I can be looking at Debbie. Is that better? Putin's not looking at her at all. Well, it helps for me to look up here at my uh, OBS monitor because I see the drawing differently than I'm uh, thinking about it. Yeah, his eyelids are on too. Let's do the eyelids as an afterthought and at least get him looking in the right direction, huh?
You folks have gone silent. Mike Tyson 505, is this stream laggy for anyone else? Uh, it does look a little bit laggy for me right now. Sorry about that. It was performing okay when some other people were complaining. Cyberdrome downrights Putin. Yes, this is Putin. Putin giving the boot to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Cyberdrome writes, do you know who is Petro Poroshenko? Sure. I did a speaking tour in the Ukraine. I had a show in Kiev. Sucks. Let's fix it. Let's make Putin have more fun. Because he must be enjoying this. I enjoyed my trip to the Ukraine.
I still have in my pocket uh, let me see if I still have this in my pocket oh maybe I don't have it in my pocket I thought I would have it in my pocket Here, I do. This is my uh, Vladimir Putin driver's license that I bought on the street in Kiev where they sell Vladimir Putin driver's licenses and um, I thought I needed one. So I carry it with me all the time, my Vladimir Putin driver's license. Let's see if the camera will, uh, will focus on that. Vladimir Putin driver's license there it is. Donetsk. Oh, in the war zone. You're from the war zone? Donetsk. No, I just went to uh, Kiev. Had an exhibition in Kiev. This one's been a little bit harder to draw than it should have been because it's kind of a simple concept. There are some excellent Ukrainian cartoonists. Kazanevsky is one of my favorites. He wins lots of international competitions. Okay. You know, neither my Putin or my uh, Bernie are very good, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do much to change them. They are as good as they're going to be. Okay, Cyberdrome, I will take the link and take a look. Yeah, you know, I visited the, um, the mother of Ukraine when I went to Kiev with all those military things next to her. Have some snapshots of uh, myself that look very much like that. 
with the Soviet military stuff next to the mother of Ukraine. So, what the Soviet Union did with each one of their little republics, well, I shouldn't say little, each one of their big republics, is they would build a giant metallic structure of a heroic, strong woman and put it in a big prominent place in town. And uh, the one in Kiev is the mother of Ukraine. You can actually climb up inside of her. And she has all that military equipment at her feet. Bernie shoe. Yeah, Cyberdrome writes, I hate Russia. All right, well, I'll tell you my uh, little bit of a Ukraine story. So I'm in Ukraine with all my new Ukrainian cartoonist friends walking down the streets in Kiev. And they have these uh, people on the street that sell their old junk, old people on the street. And they have lots of Nazi memorabilia from the dark old days of Kiev. And uh, lots of little Nazi buttons and then lots of communist stuff. Lots of uh, communist buttons and medals and things. And um, I was the tourist and I was buying communist things. And my Ukrainian friend said... Uh, why do you buy these communist things? And I said, well, you know, in America, these communist things are kind of funny. And they say, why don't you buy Nazi things? And I said, well, in America, Nazi things, they are not funny. You would not. Uh, I can wear my, my funny communist t-shirt, my funny communist button, but... I would not wear Nazi things in America. That would be bad. And uh, my Ukrainian friend said, Communists kill 20 million people. They are worse than Nazis. And what can I say? Communists are funny and Nazis aren't funny. And... Uh, this was a point of view that was not shared by my Ukrainian cartoonist friends. Nadim Comics, are you from Russia? We have uh, a couple of good Russian cartoonists on our site. So I have some cute little uh, communist buttons. Kids in school would wear uh, would wear these uh, baby linen buttons. They had a lot of those, and they were pretty cheap, and they're pretty cute. Baby linen was such a cutie. So Cyberdrone Mudan writes, Russian destro Russia destro ruined by country. Well, I guess if you're from Donetsk, that looks pretty darn ruined. What can I say? So I have drawn a whole lot of cartoons about Ukraine, I think, as most... American cartoonists have because there was a long cycle there when the Russians did their uh, anonymous invasion. 
And so we drew lots of Ukraine cartoons, lots of Ukraine suffering under Putin cartoons. So, of course, when I go to Kiev, everyone wants to see the the cartoons I drew about Ukraine, and how do I draw Ukraine? Well, I, I went to uh, Wikipedia, and I picked up, I, I looked for uh, Ukrainian peasant dress, and I got these pictures of Ukrainian peasants, and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to take this uh, woman, and uh, um, good Ukrainian looking woman, and I'll make her my character for Ukraine. And I would show her with kind of being abused by Putin in all these cartoons. And I'm in Kiev. Cartoons worked fine here. I didn't get any comments on them. Not the kind of cartoons I would get comments on. And, uh, but in Ukraine, they said, Why do you draw Ukraine looking like a woman like this? And I'd say, well, you know, I looked at the internet and she kind of goes, No, Ukrainian women, they do not look like this. <laughs> you give her blonde hair, Ukrainian woman should have black hair. And I say, Oh, well, um, uh, and they say, uh, You make her overweight. Why do you make her overweight? And I say, Well, I didn't want to really have it look like a love relationship with Putin and... I would. I didn't mean any. So uh, the Ukrainian women, they are not overweight. Why you draw a Ukrainian woman overweight like this? And then I went to a souvenir store in the subways, and I found there's lots of Ukrainian souvenirs, and a lot of them feature peasant women who look just like the blonde, overweight peasant woman that I drew in all my cartoons representing. Uh, Ukraine getting abused by Putin, and I felt fully vindicated. Cyberdrome down writes, maybe you draw a Russian team in Olympiad in Rio. I tell you, I am not much one for drawing sports cartoons. If I draw an Olympics cartoon, it will be for some reason other than sports. I can draw drug-abusing Russian athletes, but frankly, my point of view is there's so much drug abuse in sports that they should just give up on the hypocrisy of trying to uh, stop the drug-abusing drug guys and just uh, let everybody use all the drugs they want. Yeah, that'll destroy their lives, but uh, they're choosing to destroy their own lives. Let them do it. And frankly, that should make the sports a little more interesting to watch. People want to do that to themselves. Fine. The hypocrisy of punishing particular people here and there. Just hypocrisy. <laughs> I tell you, Cyberdrome Down, my Russian accent is the same as my Ukrainian accent because I can't tell the difference. I visited Ukraine with a uh, Slovakian cartoonist uh, Martin Shudovitz. It goes by the name Shudy. And it was actually a Slovakian um, nonprofit that was putting together the exhibition there. So it made sense that Shudy was there. And uh, Shudy grew up in. Uh, Slovakia during the days when, uh, during the Cold War days when he had, was forced to learn Russian in school and you can get along in Ukraine speaking Russian because they were all forced to learn it in school as well and uh, it was really pretty nice and I said hey it's nice that you know Russian like this Shudy and Shudy said God 
damn Russians. Want nothing to do with Russians. Hated having to learn this in school. Is good for nothing. Pugh. And I suspect that is much the same opinion as the Ukrainians. My Slovakian accent is also the same as my Russian and Ukrainian accent. I told the Ukrainians that, uh, what else am I going to do but the peasant girl? My goodness, it's not like you have some uh, character in Ukraine that anybody would know. I can't draw Poroshenko and have Americans know who he is. So, you know, peasant girl, labeled Ukraine, that works for me. They say, Ukrainians do not look like this. Ukrainians look like normal people. Looks like regular street in Europe. And that was right. And then I make the point. Cartoonists can't do much with people that look normal. A bunch of people looking like the rest of Europe. That's just no good for me. How am I going to draw that in a cartoon? And it's true. They complain about the blonde Ukrainian. But the girls there all dye their hair blonde like they do in LA. The world is not that different. So I'd ask the blonde little Ukrainian girls, do you think my blonde Ukrainian girl is bad? And they'd say, oh, blonde is okay. But it was only the blonde ones that would say that. The other ones wanted the black hair. Union writes Putin. Yes, Union, that is Putin. Okay, swift kick, swift kick. Let's have that swing back that way and swing back. That way. Kick, kick. <laughs> We're in your mother, Russia. No, I don't draw a group cute cats. And I don't know how to pronounce your name. So I could call you Stree for short. Streef. here. So what's going to happen when I finish this is that I'm going to uh, going to scan it. And that'll take place while I am offline for a bit, running the air conditioner on high. Who is that woman? You know, I think the people who aren't going to recognize her in this uh, cartoon are not going to be helped by the Debbie Wasserman Schultz label because they're not going to know who, who she is from her name either. Foreigners who aren't so much in the thick of all the 
Democratic Convention details. Both kicker. Okomi writes, Jesus, the Democrat convention is a dumpster fire. <laughs> I'm not going to put labels on anybody. I'm going to expect that my Bernie, Putin, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz are recognizable. And I know that for many people they will not be. And uh, I'm just not going to take the blame for that. So, Unium, have you uh, followed me? I do need the follows. Give me a follow, Unium. And uh, Streif41. Four four Streif41, four give me a, a follow, too. I need the follows. Putin's eyes suck. Lousy. Cyberdome, I appreciate the sentiment, but I can't really watch a YouTube video while I'm uh, streaming my drawing. Sometimes I'll click on a link. not better. I'm sorry, air conditioner has to go back on. You're going to see me sweat and that would be bad. I'm going to take off the eyebrows as well and go for 
more different eyes. I think the bottom of his face is kind of okay. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. Not really happy with those eyes. I think I'm not even happy with his nose. I think I'll try the eyes over again. That's the eye I like the best.
still not looking at her, is he? This upper lip is kind of thick. That is not there. to be there. Lamenting uh, a little bit Bernie not having any arms. Okay, I think I'm just about ready to give up on this. There's my DarylKagel.com. color version I might give uh, Putin some um, camouflage on his pants. All right, let's turn this off. And I think I'm just about ready to sign off here. And what I'm going to do is scan this. Then I will come back in just a few minutes and do the color. So if you can hang on for a few minutes and keep your eye out for me. You shall see me return and color this in Photoshop. OK, 
Okay, there we go. Debbie Wasserman Schultz getting the boot. Bernie and Putin. Bernie's angry. Putin's amused. Wasserman Schultz is confused. All right. So, hey, thank you, folks. That will, uh, that will mark the end of this uh, session. I will be back uh, very shortly with the coloring session. Thank you for joining me. And uh, end of stream. Thank you, folks. And uh, thank you for joining me today. In the next video, you will see me uh, coloring this. And uh, if you're watching a podcast, you'll see everything streaming together, and that'll all be lovely. And I will see you guys uh, very soon. Thank you much.